I came across a social media post today, caught my eye, and I knew I had to share it with you. I'm going to go ahead and read the post to you. It says this, God pulled you out of the pit so you could go back and get more people out. Never forget that. Now, my initial thought on this post that I saw was that, wow, that is potentially very dangerous. It seems like that typical Christianese idea that we are all together in this world with one devil, one adversary, and we got to rush in there and rescue everybody. How dangerous of an idea and a principle is that, especially now that you have come out of a toxic relationship with covert, narcissistically abusive people. I'm going to share with you my response. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. So I did respond to the post. This is what I had to say. I said, I know too many people who actually enjoy the pit. And if you're not careful, they will team up with others around them and try to pull you in as well. It's wise to be careful around the pit. Now, the person that shared the post responded to me and said, Kevin, very wise, thankful for the Holy Spirit and discernment. So let me tell you my thoughts on this concept and this idea of the pit that we need to rush in. God rescued us from a pit, therefore we need to rush in and help other people out of the pit as well. There are only two types of people that you are going to find in any pit in life, and the pit represents a hellish lifestyle, a hellish living. And yes, we have all been in that pit. But now here's the two types of people you're going to find in a pit like that. You're going to find people who have been pulled down in to that pit. People like you. People like me. And we spent some time in there until we realized this is hell. We want out. Help. Then there's going to be another type of person in the pit. That's the person who loves the pit. That's the person who lives in there. That's the person who has made that their lifestyle and they have no intentions on changing whatsoever. And this is what the modern era Christianese will not do tell people and go with people. They'll, they won't talk about that. And they send people out trying to pull everybody out. And what I had to say is very true. If you're not careful, you'll meet the wrong toxic people that will say, you're crazy. You're in the wrong place. Come down here and experience life with us. And they will trip you up or cause you to trip so that you fall into the pit. Now, listen, I'm all for rescuing people who need help. But this is the Royal We's motto on helping people who need help, on being somebody who wants to lift people out because that's what the Royal We is here for. That's what all of us are here for is to help lift people out of toxic situations. But listen, you have to only understand that you can only rescue and help people who want to be helped. You know, there's a lot of talk out there about how the shepherd will leave the 99 and go after the lost sheep. But what they won't tell you is that a lost sheep will often cry Ma, 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 I'm lost. Help, help. And the shepherd will find the lost sheep and bring them back. Right? Same is true with people. People who want help, people who want a better living are the, going to be crying and pleading and raising their voice, asking the questions, just like you, watching the videos, making comments, reaching out to people, looking for help, asking people, what's wrong? How do I get out of this hellish pit? That's the difference. Those are the people you can help. Now, that is contrast and different to, to how narcissists and covert narcissists who live in the pit will act. You see, they won't be looking for help. And this is how you know the difference. They won't be asking for help. They won't be crying. What they will be doing is mocking. They will be judging and accusing. They will be accusing you of being judgmental. They will accuse you of thinking you're better than everybody else they will say all kinds of horrible accusations against you. Nothing that sounds like they need any help whatsoever. Instead, they will be making you feel bad. And if you are a person who is trying to go into a pit, trying to help people who are lost, and you're being met with that type of resistance, you think you're better. You're judgmental. Uh, blah, 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 and on and on. All this covert narcissistic stuff, right? You're risking being pulled into the pit of conflict, into the pit that is hellish. This is important for you and me to understand.
Now, I fell into a pit like that because at one time, that's what I thought I was doing. I had compassion on people who I thought were not doing the best they could do in life. And that's typical of what we do. We want people to do the best they can in life. And so by compassion, because of that modern Christian perspective, I went after it and I tried to love and I tried to bring compassion and understanding and healing and encouragement. And all that happened was I was grabbed and dragged into the pit where then I got to experience the hell that they were living in, but they had no intention of getting out of. Instead, their every intention was to keep me down with them. And it took every bit of my energy and God to rescue me out of the pit. Yes. But I had to first want to get out of the pit. You have got to want to get out of that hellish pit. And then once you're out, you don't just go back for anybody. No, no, no. You let the people who want to be in the pit, leave them be. There's nothing you can do. It's not your responsibility to try to bring people out of the hellish pit who want to be there. There's no Uh, There is no way for you to try to convince a covert narcissist that they need to change their life, that they can do better. You're going to lose every time. They're just going to pull you down into their pit. So if you want to help people, look for those only. Keep an ear open and an eye open for those who are calling for your help out of where they're at. And then even then, carefully make sure you're lifting them out and you are not being tricked and fooled Because covert narcissists can trick and fool you by playing victims, by pretending to want to get out, but really what they're doing is keeping their feet planted and they're playing, they're slowly playing tug of war, slowly bringing you down into the pit. This is where you need to use discernment where you say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You said you want out, but how come I'm going deeper into this place of conflict? Something's not right. Boom, you got to let go. Let go of that hand and let them fall back into the pit where they want to be. Listen, my name is Kevin, and I want to be a part of your healing journey. And we're going to do this the right way. And we are going to gather and pull out the people who really want out of the pits of hell in this life. Visit www.jointheroyalwe.com where you can schedule one-on-one time with me. We could do a FaceTime appointment, a telephone appointment. Uh, We could even do a text message appointment. It's up to you. Also, visit me every Monday night for Royal We Live Chat. It's an opportunity to come together as a community, ask questions, answer questions. You could even call me for free as long as you know that it's a live show. Every Monday night, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can find the link to this channel down below in the description box. Every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. is uh, is Royal We Fellowship. This is an all-new in-depth Bible study. We are going verse by verse, chapter by chapter of the Old Testament. And we are applying the understanding of the ancient scriptures to this world of toxicity and narcissism. It's unlike any other Bible study you have been a part of. Every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Again, links to everything that you need are down below in the description box. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We.